In this video, I'm going to show you how to switch off the Corsair radiator with the H100, 115 or 150 that's in this system. How to switch that jet engine off, those triple fans on full speed after a failed firmware update which is more probable than not given the IQ software is garbage. Now to put up with this racket for the last two days in this video I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it fix it or it's gonna destroy it rip it out one or the other it can't work with this racket as you can see the course here RGB is off which is what happens and the fans are on full power what a racket so I'm going to take you to the steps to get it working. That's the IQ garbage software. Where's the radiator? Nowhere. Just the firmware update bricked it. So the first step is to search your C drive for the hex file. What's the hex file? Well, basically that's the firmware update file that failed to work and it'll be stored on your C drive just search C drive for the hex file as I've done in this video so the next step is to copy your hex file to an easy to access location I'll copy this to the D drive and also rename it get rid of all of the characters you don't need just the main uh, version number so you can locate it for the next step. Step three is to restart the computer in safe mode. You hold the shift key down whilst you press restart. Yep, CPU fan error. F1. So we're set up then. There we go. Alright, so press escape or quit without saving. Okay, so you want to enable safe mode, which is option number four. Enable safe mode. And it should take us to the Windows login screen. on ok I'll put in my easy to remember pin 999 and get this garbage message so now we're in safe mode uh, we need to bring up task manager so we can make sure no Corsair app of is running make sure the app is not see anything so any Corsair apps running got to exit um, sort by name yeah it's sorted by name anything with Corsair on it can't see anything Start up Spotify, I don't know. Man. See nothing's running I can see. Okay. Now I'm just taking a look at the services tab, make sure that there's nothing running. Stopped. Course here. Yep. There doesn't seem to be anything running. Let's look at status. Running. Nope. Nothing appears to be running. 
So what I've done now is open two file explorers. As you can see they're quite large because the screen resolution is low in safe mode. And in the is my hex file in this file explorer. Well in this one I've gone into the core save folder on C drive under program files. And you see this is just the Corsair IQ as you can see at the top. Pro C program files Corsair Corsair IQ software and I've located the XMC bootloader XE. Now you don't run it uh, what you do is you grab the hex file and place it on top of the boot so it so basically you're getting the bootloader to open the hex file and run it now a command prompt should now open when I let go of the mouse and there we go it's found the device connecting to bootloader let's see if it works Ooh. It's writing to the hardware now. Hopefully. <laughs> so far it doesn't look like it's working. Fingers crossed. Oh! <laughs> it's worked! Can you hear that? Silence. The light come on. Yeah, look. Of course, the lights come on. It worked. And that's how you turn off the Corsair jet engines. Fixed. Unbrick the H150i did take long so if you follow these steps it'll work for you too okay let's see if what hardware info says oh All right then so now I'm going to reboot and there should be no error message but uh, yeah. that's a relief isn't it <laughs> there should be no CPU error message but I'm going to have to go in BIOS anyway because I'm going to have to put my profile back because I underclocked come on don't give me any error message I want to boot in to see what the fans are spinning at no error message Because the system is silent. Because I hope the fans are spinning. So we need to find out. Yes, that's my background. Google stock price. Ooh, I can hear the fans. Hardware info. Come on there we are we can see the settings now what's the temperature 36 degrees fan 1000 rpm yep it's working 28 degrees oh that's the cpu coolant temperature okay now we're going to well, the IQ software should be running. There it is. Bring to foreground and it should show. There we are, Corsair cooling. And there's the fan curves. And it is changing. Fixed. Done. No more jet engine. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to exit 
the IQ software because it is a pile of garbage. Yeah, it's a pile of garbage. You don't want to have it running. It's gonna be a it's a process of hogging. As you see, it crippled the system. So we've got the fan running at 1,000 RPM. The coolant temperature at 28. Shall I run Cinebench R20? Put it under load and see what happens. The fan should ramp up. I've got Cinebench R20 running now. Move it to this other monitor. Run. Let's see. Can, yep. Fans are ramping up. That's it. 1400 RPM. That is a lot quieter. And it's under full load. 40. Well, it's not under full load. Okay, let's stop it. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some fine tuning to. So that should be higher than. Is it gone? Alright, so we saw fans go from 1000 to 1400 RPM. Uh, CPU temperature went to 70, back down to 33. So that's it, fixed. So follow the steps in this video and you can unbrick your Corsair hardware that the piece of garbage called IQ software will brick. Be careful. Be careful with IQ software. It is not reliable. You know, be, do not make the mistake of doing a firmware update using the IQ software. It is very dangerous. Yeah, it gives you cooling options. Right, you can put the max fans on uh, extreme. Will it go to extreme? Not seeing any change. I'll, yeah, it will. So that's how you fix your uh, Corsair radiator if you've bricked it because you've used IQ software. As you see, now just fix this one straightforward just follow the steps in this video and you can unbrick your Corsair H150i oh that is excellent quiet after having to pull up with a jet engine for two days I've got silence now silence is bliss